Hello, Scorpios. I'm in this singing mood today. I just did a reading for Pisces, and it was so funny. They just don't give a shit attitude. So let's see what uh, is going on with you, Scorpios. I'm a Scorpio, and I kind of have that attitude, too. So maybe it uh, went over, oops, into Pisces reading. I don't know, but it was hilarious. So you guys can go check that out if you want to. I felt like doing just a couple of fun readings. I haven't done readings for signs in a while, as I also explained in the Pisces reading. And let's see what is going to be coming out for you guys today, Scorpio. I am using the Disney uh, Villain Tarot deck. And I'm also going to be picking, oops, a card or so. God, you guys are already being like a pain in my ass. Um, from the Angels and Ancestors. And I just keep singing this song. Prince Ali, 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 I don't even know if I'm singing it right, to be honest with you. But that's kind of like what's happening. All right. Let's see what we have going on. Scorpio. I finally got out of this funk. I don't know about you other Scorpios, but Jesus, I finally got out of this funk. What is all this? Lord. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We've got the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups upside down. Oh boy. We got the Tower. Scorpio. Why does that not surprise me with um, the Queen of Swords? We are too honest. Yes, we are. Knight of Cups upside down. What are you doing? What do you want? Yep, jerk face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we're clearly over somebody. Scorpio, you all are over somebody. They're pissing you off. And you've got the tower card. You all know what that means. Like a timber. What is that song? Um, what is it something about? I'm, I'm yelling timber. You know this song. Um, I don't know the words. Okay, I totally just chopped that up. Okay, moving on. We also have the Five of Coins. Interesting. With the Five of Coins, what do we want? We are always worrying about our finances. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Ew, look at this one. So we're worried about our finances. Somebody's pissed us off. And we feel like our whole life is basically just crashing and burning because we're worry warts. And that's about it. Interesting. Um, who is this? Ursula? Is that who that is? Mm. Interesting. Two, four, six, eight, nine of cups. We also have the nine of cups. Lord, help us all. Listen, this is, you're going to be coming into money. Okay, Scorpio, you're coming into money. We're being worry warts. You need to just do what you're doing. Somebody's pissing you off and they're holding you down um, as well. And you guys are like just sick and tired of it. But you will be coming into money. You guys need to be doing what it is you guys do. Listen, Scorpios are always very like, they work, work, work. They give it like 150%. And that's just kind of how they are but also they worry about everything like constantly i'm worried about everything what about you guys what else do we have you guys are worried about money but you're gonna be coming into it oh oh shit prince ali look at all these i just dropped i'm not i'm just being careless Prince Ali, Ali, Ali. I don't know why that's stuck in my head. And we have the Ace of Swords upside down. What does that mean? We are stressed. All right, so you guys are stressed. It's blocking your energy. You guys really need to literally cleanse yourself, Scorpio. It's blocking everything. You guys... Listen, I know the struggle. This is going to make it to where you have poor judgment, okay, on your life and your career and what you're trying to manifest and what you're trying to do. You first have to get grounded. I actually have a friend that tells me this all the time. It's so funny. Um, I'll be stressed out about certain things. And she'll be like, listen, you have to get grounded. Like, you literally stress out about the same thing. Like, something isn't good enough or whatever. Like, you know. So, you guys need to get grounded. You're stressed out, Scorpio. You're worried about your finances. You got some knucklehead 
freaking ticking you off and they're all up in your ear probably aggravating the living snot out of you and that's where you guys are interesting you have the ten of swords yes you do this is going to be like you're hitting rock bottom but calm down because we've got the moon in our favor you guys like my singing because i'm thinking that i do um, anyways, this is going to be like, you need to trust your intuition, but you can't trust your intuition until you, you know, cleanse yourself. Cause right now you guys are thinking like the worst and you are just fucking doomed. You also have the death card that comes out. How ironic Scorpio. We have the death card. Oh my God. Listen, you guys are going to have a rebirth. There's going to be changes obviously that are coming. I feel like this is almost like a, um, transformation if you will scorpio you guys are gonna be going through a lot of changes um in all seriousness you guys are always gonna worry about certain things finances you know things like that you know people in your life it's hard to trust um fortunately it's just the way that it is but really what is causing all this right now is your energy is complete shit you need to cleanse that Okay, you need to ground yourself and get freaking grounded, Scorpio. So that way there you can move forward because you do have big changes coming in. I think if you're worried financially, I think that you guys do have something in play, possibly a promotion or you're looking at another job or maybe your creator. Um, so in order to move forward, you guys really need to cleanse yourself and work on manifesting. Interesting, two of cups comes out. How ironic, duh, obviously. Hello, a romance. Duh. Like, a duh. No. But this could also be a partnership or somebody's going to be wanting to partner up with you. Or you've been thinking about working with a company um, that is going to happen. Uh, as long as you guys, you know, clear your energy, get grounded, and actually put in the work and stop doubting yourself so it can come to fruition on that. Um, that's just what's going to happen. I mean, you just have to do it. You also have the nine of swords coming into play here. The nine of swords. Eh, you know, this is of course like, again, anxiety, depression. Uh, you really need to get that in check. Find something that doesn't make you guys so anxious. I mean, hello. I'm always like have anxiety. I have anxiety doing this video. Um, but your anxiety, your depression, it's really holding you back. So you guys need to really focus on something that you love and that you want to do. And I think that that's where this is going to come into play, the Two of Cups. Um, you're really going to start working on something that you guys are passionate about, right? And with doing that, of what you actually love to do, that's where your money is going to come in, right? You're You're going to be financially stable doing that. You just have to clear a few things out of the way. Like, for instance, you feel like you guys are rock bottom. Your anxiety is through the roof. Your depression is through the roof. Um, you really need to get yourself grounded. You really need to um, cleanse yourself. Meditate. Meditation helps. Scorpios, meditation helps. I know people will say things. Say so you need to get grounded, and then you just can't. But you got to find a way to do it. Taking a bath helps to get grounded. Going outside. Hugging a tree. I've preached that before. All right, so while you feel like uh, you're at rock bottom in your life, you're actually not. You're actually going into transformation for bigger, better things, especially financially. You're going to do something that you actually enjoy doing. And the card that flies out is the travel of moving a new direction. See, so what you guys are doing, it's very stagnant, right? It's like the same cycle that keeps going over and over and over and over and over. You need to change that cycle, change the direction, change your mindset, all right, Scorpios, and then it'll all fall into place. And then you're going to be like, geez, you know what, talking? You are very smart. That was a great reading, you know? I seen your reading and that was it. So let's see what else flies out. This will be the last card that comes for you, Scorpio. I just don't really feel like taking this too seriously. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what else you have. I've been in such a funk since I lost Oreo. You know what I'm saying? All right. Next, last card. Autumn. Hmm. Interesting. Release the old and rest, Scorpio. 
you got to let go of the past. You got to let go of that anxiety. You got to let go of that depression. You got to find something to get yourself out of that funk. All right. Do something that you love to do and you will pull yourself out and get yourself grounded. All right, Scorpios. So with that being said, I will see you guys on the next one. Let me know down below if you like these videos, if you want me to continue doing them. Um, if you don't like the video, I mean, I guess give it a thumbs down. I don't really care. So anyway, Scorpio, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.